if the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheater. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas, but I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. Everybody wants to be a beast. Everybody talks positive about themselves. Everybody talks like you're a beast. You dress like you're a beast. But then when it's time to do what bees do, you back up. You have an excuse. What's gonna separate you is, when it's beast time, when it's war time, you gotta get up to make it happen. Why was Michael and Kobe who they were? Tom Brady, Dwayne Wade, Wayne Gretzky, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, all these guys. Not because of their physical gifts. Yes, that had a lot to do with it. It's up in here. It's time to recharge this and reboot this. Remember, the mind controls a body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. The savage mindset when things are going bad, guess what they do? Quitting's out of the question. All they think about is how the f am I gonna get through this? There's no quitting, it's just get through and thriving, not surviving. You gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. Every day you have to do this shit. Cause why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun, you're not gonna be a great shot when you pick a gun up a year from now. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly over that motherfucking machine. The machine is this. You gotta keep challenging every day. No one wants to grind. They just want the end result. You can't get the end result without the grind. But you gotta crave that end result so intensely that the work becomes irrelevant. But if you really want to set some goals and you're willing to do what it takes and sacrifice to put yourself around that and not worry about what everybody else is gonna say, not worry about hurting feelings, you're guaranteed success in whatever you do. You're supposed to fail. You're supposed to fucking fail because failure is the stepping stone to success. Failure is an experience that lends to wisdom that ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself. So the idea is you must fail a hundred times to succeed once. It's, that's part of it. No one succeeds the first time. It's learning how to not get disappointed with failure, to understand failure. You only learn when you fail. You don't learn when you succeed. We got it! The journey's hard. The journey is riddled with failure and that's why most people don't do it. Most people aren't willing to get on that journey because they're afraid to fail. You, my friend, have failed. Congratulations. It's the greatest thing that ever happened to you because it shows that you're alive, it shows that you did something, and it shows that you're growing stronger. Now go and fucking fail again, bro. I hope, I hope you guys that watch these videos, I hope you're gonna fail a thousand fucking times. Keep going in, out there and failing. You know what that means? Every time you fail, it means to me. It tells me that you're doing something. Go out there and fucking fail. It's the greatest joy in life because it says so much about your character and it adds so much to who you're becoming. Love it for what it is because if you didn't fail, 
you would never be able to appreciate success. It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you never give up. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this. That it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. Everybody drops the ball. You're not perfect. But you can be born again every single day. You could have that rebirth. You could get up and do it again. Recommit. Fail, recommit. Fail, recommit. Fail, recommit. And if that pattern continues to the day you die and you recommit on your deathbed, you are a success. But if you failed and didn't continue, didn't get up again, didn't choose to be reborn again. And that's the ultimate failure.